Six X-Shot Blaster reviews in one month. Clearly this company's doing something right. After what seems like an eternity, it took one long anticipated month to finally get our hands on the latest hot product from X-Shot, the Lock Blaster, guys. This thing is cool for a lot of reasons, but first of all, let me tell you how I found out about it. PNNN News announced this blaster, I think it was in their episode 13, roughly one month ago. They are the hottest and the premier Nerf news channel right now on YouTube. You'll find out everything that's upcoming, including leaked patents, designs, and stories, provisional Nerf news network, bunch of great guys. Make sure to give them a follow and a sub guys when this blaster was announced the world went crazy there's a special staple part of the nerf community that is highly enthusiastic about these under lever prime blasters this blaster is no exception it is officially the second blaster in x shot's new insanity slash skins line which has an eight round drum something completely new to x shot of course the new generation x shot waffle tip darts and it also has this really cool gimmick that we've never seen in a blaster before at least nothing that i can recall regardless we didn't come all this way just to look at a box so without further ado let's get this baby out of these cardboard confines we're gonna open it up on the table see what we get check out this cool gimmick do a little plink and performance test let's get it guys all right guys so we have 16 darts that's two cylinder loads full of this new generation x shot dart of course we have the blaster fleshed out here one thing i really really like about this blaster is that you could remove the cylinder this front neck of the cylinder actually compresses inward so all you have to do is present that front area and then align the back one and then your cylinder is properly seated now this is a revolutionary design because all these blasters that have these kind of cylinders as far as I'm concerned right now the cylinder is never removable now hopefully this will be a feature that X shot will continue to implement on their blasters going forward I can imagine how awesome a griefer would be with a removable cylinder or a last stand with a removable cylinder that would be absolutely amazing the lever action handle seems to be pretty sturdy for the most part despite some reports that I've heard from some friends of mine I understand people have different kind of roughness levels of ways that they handle their blasters and operate them on the field and of course some of us don't want to be worrying about about having to be gentle with our blasters especially when we're out on the field being chased by zombies so I can totally understand if people want this to be a little bit more of a solid piece but for the basic needs of the blaster I'd say it's pretty compatible with the rigidity and the structural integrity of the rest of the blaster another cool amazing thing about this blaster is the actual lock mechanism a lot of people consider it a worthless gimmick but I thought it was incredibly cool you can actually assign this blaster to yourself or to other people by giving them the exclusive code that is assigned to this blaster retrieving the code is actually fairly simple if you have an iPhone I'm pretty sure Androids have an app for that too. You can literally just focus the camera on this area until it reads the QR code. And then you wanna click open in whatever browser you have. I use Google Chrome. And then it should open up this website where it'll actually have this awesome, cool futuristic animation where it shows you not only the blaster, but the animation of the blaster unlocking and the divulsion of the code to the user, which is you. I thought that was incredibly cool. Without further ado, guys, let's take this to the mini range, pop some rounds at our center target, see how our grouping is, and check out some chrono readings. Let's get it, guys. All right, guys, for the grouping test, we're gonna be using these Adventure Force Waffle Darts since we know that they're proven in the battlefield, and we're gonna be shooting them at the center target. These are also good for visibility. It helps me track the shots on camera. Let's get to it, guys. Now, I'm not sure why, but as much as I want to say that this blaster performs on par with all the other X-Shot stuff that I tested this far, it does not. At least not for me. I don't know if I got a lemon, but this is something that you should know whether you're just a casual nerfer or as an enthusiast anyway. As you were able to see, there's a lot of shots that kind of tumbled and shot weirdly. I had a hard time just getting an average chrono reading just because so many of these shots would just get stuck in the tunnel or just come out at an angle. Not sure if it has something to do with the amount of empty space in front of the actual barrel. There's a good seven, seven and a half inches of empty barrel area about one inch in diameter where the dart has to travel before it completely exits the blaster could be related to that i'm not sure i didn't have this problem with the berserko but then again the berserko has a little bit of a smaller area in front although not that much smaller maybe it has something to do with the cylinder design maybe i'll play with it more and update this video at some point however everything else on the blaster works 100 
perfect. It has plenty of sling mounts depending on the way you like to carry your blaster. It even has one right here, small, but albeit pretty serviceable. It has one here at the end of the handle and it has one here. Now, what I like most about this blaster is that despite the fact that it's lever action, it is so futuristic looking. It doesn't look like an old wild, wild west double shotgun or whatever. It looks like something out of a Mass Effect or even Apex Legends kind of game. Beautiful lines. It's a beautiful blaster, guys. Now, granted, I wasn't using the best darts. It could be related to that, but as far as the performance you were able to see, there's just a little bit of tuning necessary. Now, this is probably a cakewalk for us modders, but I want to inform you, the casual buyer, that if you're using this just to play around the house with your kids, it's probably fine. But if you're trying to hit somebody at 15 feet accurately, some darts may hit and some darts might not. This is $14.99 at your local Walmart. I believe I just found it early, but I am hearing reports of a lot of my friends that are finding it at their local Walmart as well. So you might be able to do that. I'll put a link in the description if you do decide to go out and seek one of these out. If you enjoyed this video, you're definitely going to like this one. I'll catch you on the next one. Stay blasting, foam fam. Yeah.